Hi, we're here with Seculent Sarah. Hi. Uh, Ashley Palmer is going to take some pictures. This is Lauren, one of our lovely customers. And we are going to uh, live feed the, uh, de the decapitation of this beautiful fiddle leaf fig. Um, so we can start new ones. Yeah, so we can start new ones. And Sarah says that doing that will help uh, the, the trunk as well as encourage it to grow two different um, branches. So, so you can see the healthy, healthy uh, leaves up here. Um, it's perfectly healthy. It's just it needs topped to encourage growth. Almost all plants do. All plants like a haircut. Yes. Can you? Sense. All plants like a haircut. Yes. Remember that, guys. Can you tell us about the leaves that are like falling down like this? Is that yeah, what is that the, about? It's the oldest leaves of the tree. This tree is probably. Oh, good four or five years old. It started out this high. Yes. So we've had five, it for a couple of years. Okay. Yep. Um, and uh, and it's its oldest leaves, and those will eventually drop off. You know, much like what's happened to your your yucca. So you just want to to make sure that it's doing well. Check the new growth, right, yeah, Sarah? Yeah, new growth. The growth is just fine. It's, it's happy. Perfect, perfect, it's perfect. strong. Beautiful. It's beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. Not to brag, but I've done a good job. Yes, she has. <laughs> Moving it down here, I think, probably helped. Yeah, I had it at my home, and I think it was getting too much heat. You'll see these are uh, sunspots yeah. that uh, won't go away once it's happened, y'all. Right. So, um, okay, so we're going to... What you basically are, are wanting is, you know, you see we've tied it up two different... Well, we have it tied, and, and to where it goes, goes straight. And what you want is just take enough off you know basically about about hello I want to know if you have any questions that much okay ah! and your roots then will come out of each one of it. your <laughs> each one of your your joints Oh, so I'll replant this? Yes. So what we're going to do, we, we, we're going to take that leaf off. Oh. Okay, and that's where your roots will come out of is every joint. Should we turn so you can get a better picture, Ash? I got it. Okay. You know, and what we'll do is we'll... So just that one or are we going to trim that one too? No, we're going to leave that one on there for a while. It will probably fall off. Okay. Uh, because it doesn't have any root system right at the moment. But once it does all you'll get all new growth again and this will then branch off at least twice you'll get two branches off of it what do i do anything to its nope. Uh, wound no nope. do you wait to water for a while um yeah probably wouldn't hurt to hold water for just a little bit he's probably where i would water him next week sometime is that okay yeah okay yeah That's um good. and then this one i put it in dirt and then what we're going to do is we're going to wrap it in a paper towel or a paper, moist paper, till we get to the greenhouse. And then I'm going to put about, put it in a pot that is not more than about three inches wide and dirt up to the first joint. And that encourages really good root growth when right. you start in smaller containers. Right. We, too much and it'll get too wet and it'll rot your plant because it doesn't have any roots to suck up the moisture. Sarah, I could do this myself, but it's a good idea to send it somewhere where yes. there's a great like right, greenhouse right. environment, the humidity. the humidity. Right. Now, uh, So if you have that available. Yeah, yeah bring it here. <laughs> Retro Dan. <laughs> Sarah's here. Can I get, could you hold that for me a little bit? Now, what I would do. Now, what about this leaf? Is. Is I take this, and if you've got like a, I used to press leaves and flowers. <gasps> yeah. If you've got like an old uh, uh, sample book of of wallpaper, mm -hmm. you know they're like. Eh, I'll get one. Good. You can. Throw Does it anyone in there. have that? Bring it to me. <laughs> there you go. And just lay it in there flat, or anything will do where oh, you can press it. I love that. Oh, and then it'll, it'll it'll dry up and change a little bit of color, but it will be a beautiful piece. Oh, that's that is gorgeous. Like this. I will. 
More so like this than, than this. I bought it when I was pregnant with Harriet. You did? So, Aww. that's a nice memory. I know, Sarah. Aww. Let's get sentimental here. So yeah. how long will it take before it will be in the spring when you start seeing it grow? No, you'll in about a month, oh, month okay. and a half. You'll start seeing, you'll, you'll start seeing these little, these little kind of, their, their pre-leaves, you'll start mm -hmm. seeing them starting to, to develop. And that'll turn into the branches. Mm -hmm. And you chop it every couple well, of years? Well, yeah, this won't, yeah, this won't need it for at least a couple of years. Okay. You know? And then Sarah, when you did it, it was, um, what percentage of the plant we well, did? Well, we don't need much more than, more than... Two like, sets of leaves. We've got one set, two sets. Okay. And then there, there's enough there from that first set that the, that's where your leaves will come. Will out. that guy? Will its will its trunk get bigger? Yes. Yes. <laughs> and you sh and you probably will get some new growth uh, along the edges here that okay. puts the energy back into the stem. When do I know it's time to replant it? Well, it really doesn't need it. Uh, it won't need it for quite some time. Unless, I, what I would do is go ahead and add enough soil to hide these, these oh, roots okay. here. Oh, uh okay. -huh. And, uh, you know, that'll help. Some high quality soil? Yeah, just some, some good high quality soil. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Well, as much as I am really enjoying this because I'm a ham, uh, it's probably the end of our live feed. <laughs> Thanks for joining us. Thanks, Thank succulent you. Sarah. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Oh, there will be a blog post later, so watch for that. And you can uh, go to our website to sign up for um, our free succulent illustrated, hand-illustrated care guide. Uh, and you can download it and print it. It's really pretty. Ashley Palmer drew it. Okay, bye.